Hi, in this video, we're going to introduce the algorithm for linear search or sequential search. So what is linear search? Well, given a list and an element to search for, return the index of that element in the list. That's what we want to find out. Let's search for an element in a list. So here's our list. Uh, the blue numbers are the indices in the array, and the black numbers are the values of those elements. So let's say we want to search this array for the number 12. What would we do? What would we do in a linear search? Well, in a linear search, what we'll do is we'll go one by one looking through every element to see if we find it. So this is what our algorithm will look like. This is our pseudocode for the algorithm. For every index in the array, get the element at the current index. If element is equal equal to key, return the index. Otherwise, return not found. So let's start at the beginning. Is the element at index 0 equal to 12? Nope. What about at index 1? Nope. What about at index 2? Nope. What about at index 3? Yes, it is equal to 12. So let's return 3. So that's that's a step-by-step -step, um, process. Now let's look at the code. So public int linear search, uh, given an int array called array, uh, and a key to search for. So we'll say for every uh, int i, i is equal to zero, i is less than array.length, i plus plus, get that current element in the array, and if it's equal to our key, return the index. And at the end of our loop, we'll return negative one, meaning it wasn't found. So now we'll go into our editor and write this program. Okay, so here we have a program to write linear search. What we'll do is we'll write the method and then we'll also test it out. So the first thing we'll do is we'll say public uh, int linear search and we'll give as parameters an int array called array and an int key that we're searching for. So let's leave a comment. Uh, this method takes an array called array and a key to search for and returns the index of key if it is in the array or negative one if it is not found. All right. Okay, so let's start writing the code for this algorithm. We'll say for int i equals zero, i is less than array.length, i plus plus. Now let's get that current element. So we'll say int element equals array at i, and if element is equal to key, then we found it. Let's return the index. Otherwise, we haven't found it. At the end of that list, we'll return negative one, indicating it wasn't found. So this is our uh, method. Let's try and test it out. So we'll say um, int array arr equals, and let's say uh, nine, five, seven, um, six, three, one, four, eight. So that's our array. And let's try and say um, int index one equals linear search. We'll search ARR for six. And then let's print out um, the index. So let's run that. And there you go, we can see it's at index three. So, uh, you know, zero, one, two, three. There it is in the fourth spot in the array. Let's try another search. Let's search the array for um, five. And that should tell us it's at index one. Great. And now let's test something that's not there. So we'll say linear search, let's search our array for the value 70. And we should see that that returns um, negative one for not found. So this is how you write and implement linear search.